My first guest went through their share of setbacks to become one of the biggest country acts today. They have three Grammys, an Academy of Country Music Awards, and even a Daytime Emmy, because why not? Their latest album is called Nightfall. It's amazing. You should get it. Give it up for Little Big Time, y'all! can't be here in person. This sucks, but it's so great to see all of you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes. So did you guys hear the family harmony that just happened on the show? Oh, my God. Wow. I know. That it's, was fun. Their voices and all those parts that they were, it's so cool. I know. That low end, especially when they went down for bones, I was like, I felt it in my bones. Yeah. It was so good. Me too. Um, so how long were you quarantined from each other this year? <laughs> last <laughs> quarantine, like, uh, I don't know, several months. Several months, and it's like the longest that we've ever been a, apart from each other. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was very emotional when we got back together. Kind of like old married people, we we <laughs> grew, grew to look like each other, and we had never ever been apart for more than, you know, a long weekend. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh, man, I know that that's been the hardest thing. It's just I think as creative people, too. We love to be inspired by people and around people. It's a very hard thing. Um, but Kimberly, I, you have a personal project coming out, right? I do. I wrote a children's book about our um, family's adoption story on our little dolly. And yeah. it comes out this um, holiday season. I'm so excited. Oh, that's that's such an awesome thing, because especially we're talking about representation and inclusion of everyone. There's a lot of stories out there and they don't really get to hear their story. And that's a really cool thing for kids that are adopted as well. And like, and if you've adopted a kid, that's a, that's a beautiful project. That was a great idea. And it's why I brought it up. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's called a dolly for Christmas. And it, it's just a story about hope, whether you have an adopted child or not, it's just about mm -hmm. hope and never giving up on a dream. My, my little Daisy prayed for a baby for five years. And finally, she prayed and she asked Santa Claus for one, and right at Christmas time, we got our little dolly. Oh my God! That's they so got me all crying over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> it's so, it's so, it's so great. So wait, Jimmy, you you all did some online challenges and lockdown. So what is the hashtag basketball beer challenge, and who did it? <laughs> <laughs> That, we, we had seen that online so many times, and then uh, we thought we would take it on ourselves to kind of go along with our new song, Wine, Beer, Whiskey, mm -hmm. and up the basketball challenge a little bit, because most of the time it was beer, and uh, so I did uh, a, a beer, a canned wine, our canned wine, <laughs> and, and a, a, bottle. Crown, a bottle of Crown. Oh, that you. was the one that I thought, okay, I may lose a tooth. <laughs> oh my god I would, I would so Kimberly did you try this challenge I, I mean I was making some biscuits that day I didn't I didn't try the challenge <laughs> I love you so you were you were making biscuits well Philip how did your challenge go <laughs> man that is harder to do than it looks and one one take of my sweet wife was filming me and the beer went flying hit her right in the stomach <laughs> oh my gosh. That's terrible. These are it's dangerous. Terrible. <laughs> These are oh my God. You couldn't have planned that. <laughs> well, Karen, did you do it? Well, I'm super competitive and I I I could probably continue to do this all night long, like tonight after we finish this. Um, but I, it didn't go well for me. And I'm I pride myself in being fairly athletic and coordinated, but and then into the pool. <laughs> and then into the pool. <laughs> Philip, last time you were here, you had a song called Over Drinking, which I love. I'm sensing a theme, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you know, we love all the alcohol things. Wine, yeah. beer, whiskey, and You're just being you inclusive. Know, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to include everyone. Um, that was that song particularly was really fun to write because we were out on the road and we were writing with Topher Brown and Sean McConnell, two great writers, and we had finished a song in the morning that was really like emotional and powerful. And then I was like, man, we need a, we need a break. How you, we got some wine, we got some beer, some whiskey. What do you guys want? And that's, and Topher went off and we started and we wrote this song in like an, an hour. It was so much fun. <laughs> it's <laughs> such a great song. And it's such a, it's one of those songs like I heard and I was like, how has this not been done before? 
Like, I was like, I was like, <laughs> like this is such a great idea. And it's so clever and it's such a sing along. And it's one of those that, are, you know, when we're allowed to go to shows and our lives don't suck, um, we're, <laughs> we, this is the one everybody will want you to sing and sing along to. It's just so fun. So, I mean, Kim, like last time you were also um, about to play Carnegie Hall and the Apollo for the first time. So, how did that go for everyone? That was something you don't even dream of. It was bigger and better than we could have ever, ever dreamed. Yeah, we started our tour at Carnegie Hall, and then we followed it with two shows at the Apollo. And we thought 2020 was just like the best year ever because it had started out so amazing. And then we had a little hiccup, but um, we'll be back at it as quick as we can. But that start was phenomenal. There's nothing that will ever beat that. It's magical. Oh, man. It, yeah, it looks magical. Um, well, Karen, um, I know that you love clothes. So you can add stylist, though, to your resume, right? I mean, I'm the backup stylist, you know? <laughs> so, so. I, You're great I like at clothes. Dress. There is like dressing, you know, Ken and Barbie dolls over here. So, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I love to do it. And, and I had to do some of the press tour, which ended up being like, you know, Kelly, like, so many outfits and yes. so many um, changes of clothes and and that's before covid so i would we would finish like doing something a tv performance and i would run to bergdorf's just yeah. terrible she hates terrible. that um <laughs> yeah so but we also we've made some big fashion mistakes i don't know if you ever have but Back oh my gosh, are day. you kidding? I'm like how they wore it wrong, you know, before my stylist got a hold of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we actually, wait, speaking of this, yeah. we have a couple yeah. of those They're early awesome. red carpet photos, and I thought we could just take a look at some, and you can tell us about them. <laughs> Here's one, so what do you remember? Oh, my stars! What? <laughs> Oh my God. That is terrible, terrible. If terrible is awesome... Look, well, I mean, John, Johnny Resnick called and he wants his hair back. Is it, no, keep it, keep it. So wait, and then there's this. What do you think of this one? I love this. I love wow. this. Y'all are, oh my God. I will say like. I want back those, you those what? days are my abs. Oh, Lord. <laughs> if there is anything I did not appreciate more in my 20s, it was my body. It is just, wow, downhill. <laughs> just see so you 20-year-olds hear this loud and clear. It's over. Like, <laughs> it's like, just you think you're fat right now. You're not. Wait, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be like, damn. Anyway, um, but so, so Kimberly, so on the new song, someone told me that you guys used mouth trumpets in, on the song, and I can actually hear it, especially at the end, one of the last ones. <laughs> so care to explain how that happened, and was wine, beer, or whiskey involved? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I, think, I think Jimmy has the best no. mouth trumpet. Oh, I can't do that. Did y'all all do it? Yeah. Yes. We considered leaving it like that. You can hear the mouth trumpet at the end, though. At the very <laughs> end, that's the best part. And it's like, I want to go to that party where at the end, I feel like I'm so awesome I can play a trumpet with my mouth. Well, <laughs> we, we were going to keep the mouth trumpets, but uh, we, had to, we decided to add Jacob from the Brummies, a great little band, uh, and yeah. he played trumpet and on the record so we were like we gotta have both i love it the vibe is so cool guys like how the song starts out it's like where is this going like and then it how it ends it's <laughs> the, it literally is so cool that's what i love about you you're, you're so adventurous and you play with different genres and it's just really it's really really cool to be a fan of you and how y'all are unafraid of that and it, it's nice to go on the ride with y'all